So I promised the creator I would play this game with them and I am now finally doing it. So here we have Rons and Friends. So this is actually a game on dreams if you're not already aware. I may have the uh, dreams th uh, word in the title maybe. Anyway, I gotta admit, it's very very strange recording like this. I know that you don't need to know this whatever, but uh, usually I'm looking over there at my other monitor when I'm playing like PlayStation games or Xbox games, but now I'm looking over here, which is where, where I usually play my PC games. So it's very very strange doing it this way, but I'll get used to it. So yes, here we have runs and friends. I know nothing about this. All I know is that um, this is in the vein of like Garter the Bam Bam, Puppy's Playtime, well, mostly Garter the Bam Bam, because if you can see the uh, drawings on the wall, yeah, it's very Garter the Bam Bam esque. So, I don't know what this is going to be like, but I promised that I would uh, play it, and here I am, so let's play. Find the way to the hallway. Okie dokie. I will say that um, I don't really play uh, Dreams games anymore, only because as much as it's awesome to see people's creations in pick up what? Uh, I, 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 I didn't even see a key card, but okay, I just picked up one apparently. But um, yeah, as awesome as it is to uh, see creations made by people in dreams, and it's astonishing what you can actually create in dreams. I personally feel like I've seen all there is that dreams can offer in terms of what can be created in dreams, and that's why I don't really do dreams videos anymore because I, I used to do like you know dreaming about this dreaming about that you know a whole series about it but then I kind of fizzled out of that because as much as it was like a really really cool idea because of how much content I was consuming in dreams and how I kind of noticed a pattern in the limitations in what dreams can offer that's why I don't really play a lot of dreams games anymore of course I'm still gonna be playing a couple of dreams games here and there but I'm not gonna be playing a lot of dreams games uh, anymore because I, I would prefer to play games that are sort of made not within a game engine as 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 awesome as that is and how impressive that is I'd rather see a game made in say like Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot, stuff like that. Not a game that's made within a game. Because you are limiting yourself creatively what you can do. That that's that's my opinion anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, play Ron's and Friends. I assume that Ron Weasley from Harry Potter will not be in this game because if he was, that would be totally surprising. Do I have a flashlight? I... I can crouch though, that's... Okay, I have a flashy light, okay. Marco, Polo, come meet Ron Ranila. Okay, Ron Ranila, that's... Nito, come meet us. Ta <gasps> okay, so we've got a key card, let's go ahead and go th th through, thank you. Okie dokie. Find the way to a Marco fun room. Eat bananas and you will be in great shape like me. <laughs> wow, the smallest of the bunch. Wow. But you know what? Shape of Timon? 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 Checks out. Marco advice. Never argue with your best friend. Otherwise you'll end up... Marco! I mean, you know, like... 
arguing is a part of relationships and like if you don't argue sometimes then how will your relationship well most relationships have arguments so it's kind of part of the course but what did you argue about no marco i'm so sorry that you had to oh he's got such a sad face marco does this keycard work for this I'm going to assume it does not because it's not doing anything. But what about this time? Yee! I got jump scared by a piece of cardboard. <laughs> okay, I've got to admit that was pretty good placement. I'll admit that. Um... What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Marco says, "Shh, let's rest a little." What the? What the fuck am I even meant to be? <laughs> okay. Can I? Get oh, ooh. can I go through? Can I go through? Boom! Shakala. <laughs> Don't be doing that now. We're just getting started. How does this light have infinite light? Not that I'm complaining, but you went in here. So are you behind this? Right. So you just disappeared into thin air. Okay, well, I'm glad I can't follow you because that would be a uh, death in my... Nah, 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 you're, you're good, you're good, you're good, I'm good, I'm good. <sighs> Fine, I know that you're inviting me in and... I can't do anything else other than go your way, so I guess fine. Is anyone even in here? Does anyone say boo? Oh, another piece of Marco advice? Marco mission! Got a mission by Marco. It's extremely sad. You, you don't need to tell me that twice. I'm, I'm already fucking aware that you're sad, Marco. And there's nothing I can do to help you out. Can you give him three twists? I doubt three twists are going to make you happy, but you know what? I'll, I'll try. The toy. So first of all, you say three toys, and now you're saying the toy. Which one is it? Uh, I'm guessing uh, this is one of the toys. Yep. Okay. Actually, wasn't that one of the, didn't, didn't that look like, look like something from the other game? Dreamy Daycare, was it? I forget names of games sometimes. Why is there so much buzzing over here? I don't like that, that there is so much buzzing over there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y you can't seriously tell me that this is not a toy. It looks like a toy. Tell me that does not look like a toy. Okay, I know that you're from the future, but come on. Okay, what about this? Is this a toy? The... <laughs> I just seriously telling me that this is not a toy. Really? Sure, game. Sure. What about up here? Is there a toy up here? If I can actually go up here, can I? 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 Come on, come on, quick, 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 quick. Why, 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 why? Come on, 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 come on. Why? Come on. I can clearly get out of there. I can, I can clearly, you know, okay, fine. L let's try this way. L let's try this way. You're seriously telling me I cannot get out of there. Are you seriously telling me that? This game 
sucks. Okay, can I go through this door? Okay, that's a uh, no-go then. Toy. I've got two toys. Um. Where the heck is the... I can't believe I'm already having a little bit of a... Fucking... Why, why does that scare me so much? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess you're going to be playing with... Jumbo Josh then. I almost forgot the name. And again, Garth of the Bad Man is kind of forgettable. There you go. Um. 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 I. I. I have. Um. I. 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 Oh. 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 Hit up. Jesus fucking Christ. Hi. Oh, great. You're following me. I love it when eyes follow me. I guess we're gonna get a key card. Yes. Okay. Why are you still following me? I never asked you to. Why? Why am I going? Why am I going near that? Why am I going near that? Damn, you really. Actually, this door is too slim for that room. So, uh... Oh! I was gonna have two. I'm just not gonna question anything. Let's just keep on. Go. You knocked over this I Do you realise the actions you've done? You knocked over that cardboard. How fucking dare you? So where's this keycard even for any... So nothing in there, obviously. Okay. Why, 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 why did you scare me? Why did that scare me? I don't know why, but it did. Right. I'm... Wait. Okay, so this is, uh, okay, so I'm guessing, right. Okay, so I came from there, okay. Wait, mm -hmm. Wait I got a yellow one, didn't I? Yes, I did, I got a yellow one, so this one. Fine, okay, 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 fine. Green one, then. I saw I picked up yellow, but sure, why not? Light, can you please just see yourself? I will say, I will say, this is far, 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 far better than uh, I'm. I'm. I get. I think it's called Dreamy Cake. Dreamy Cake, Dreamy Daycare. That, that's what I think. That, I'm pretty sure that's what the name was. It's, it's been a while since I played it, and I know that not m many other people play it. Well, one is on Dreams, and two, I guess it's just not that popular compared to like, uh, say, Dark Loop, because that's pretty popular. I'm pretty sure. But this is like, this is actually pretty good. I will not lie. Not that I lie. But I won't lie, this is pretty good. But now where am I going? The music. I like the music. This music choice is a... Uh, wait, no, what you... I... what the... what the... Um? Um? <laughs> um... Well, um, I think I just, uh, this is, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, <laughs> no stuff, I should not walk into beds, <laughs> so wait, um, am I like fully glitched out now, can I like get back in, um, I think, I think that might be a no-go, a few moments later. Okay, and so we are back now. And I actually reread what the objective said because for some reason I don't read objectives sometimes. I get so distracted. Um, it said about going to the train zone now. 
I'm assuming that the trans zone is this way, right? Right, so yeah, again, do not walk into a bed because you will uh, get stuck. So there's a train. Wait, hang on. Can I go? Okay. Oh! I didn't realize that there was more of a. It happens if I walk forward sometimes. Oh, okay, another key card. Hey! Your face seems familiar to me! <laughs> Hi. I remember. You will not escape me this time! Oh! 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 I don't even know where I'm going. And I think, I, yeah, I just goofed up. I goofed. I, uh, yeah, I did really badly that time. I don't... I don't know where you would go. I, I'm guessing that you would just go right, right? Because there was no sort of guidance telling me where to go, I did not know where to go, but... Hey! Right, okay. So I'm guessing I've got to go right. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> Apparently there was something blocking me that time. Not sure what though. So let's just try this again. So maybe go around. Oh, maybe I do need to go that way then, because apparently there is a, like an invisible wall. I'm not entirely sure why you put invisible walls. Like, surely, I don't know. If you want people to go a specific direction, then either put like a flickering light. If you want to, if you want to make it as immersive as possible, then put like a flickering light to uh, make people go that specific way, or make a like light a little bit more brighter to make people go that way. Or if you don't really care that much about immersion, then just put like a little arrow just to tell people where to go. That's that's my only sort of criticism for this so far, because. Um, I do not like invisible walls because invisible walls are like the most laziest part of uh, directing someone somewhere. If you just put an invisible wall, it it, it kind of takes my immersion away like a lot. Because when there's an invis invisible wall, I'm just like, yep, okay, the game is telling me not to go that way. Great. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go left. I'm not entirely sure whereabouts we're going to go. So... I guess it doesn't matter how far you try to run or how early you try to run, he will get you no matter what. Hmm, that's a bit interesting. Unless, I mean, surely it wouldn't be that uh, the point is to for him to get you because it's game over, obviously. So it's like the wrong move. So a bit confusing, this part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen, but um, yeah, well, I'll take it. Why not? I'm gonna. I'll wait. Oh, I'll take this. Why not? <laughs> it's kind of like a win in a way. So okay. I'm going to assume he's still behind me, maybe. I'm going to assume that. Even though I don't think he is, I'm going to assume that he's still behind me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> We've still got his music, though. <laughs> right, so... I guess go up here. Oh. I have a gun. Okay. Well, it's not. It's definitely not going to be for Ron because he's already dead. Sorry about that, Ron. But um, I don't like being chased, so I didn't exactly want that to happen to you, but you kind of put that on yourself. Um. I'm, um, unless I need to get another keycard from around here, maybe. 
It doesn't look like there's any other key cards around. Unless, unless, does he have a key card on him? Do you have a key card on you, sir? Hmm. Unless there's a reason why I have a gun. Wait, wait. Whoa! What is? Ooh. Why is my camera going all like jittery? I don't know. Whoa, okay. Surely? Surely I would be able to... Unless maybe the game is a little broken. And that's why I can't do that. Hmm. Maybe there's a reason why there's a crate here. Oh, oh, ah. Right. So I've got to, um, move this somehow. Right. Okay, okay, so I've moved it like a bit. Oh, there we go, there we go, we're here, there we go. Oh, ah, wait, hang on. Right. Wait, maybe I aim it at the eye. Oh, wait, you're back. You are... Uh, <laughs> hmm, I, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Uh, oh. Um. What the fuck happened? I am scared. Like, I'm really scared. What is... What is... I don't like this. What hap... What's... What the f... Also, why is this light so sort of like, I don't know, small, low? Wait, wait, what happened here? <laughs> Do I even want to know? You know, I don't even know what the uh, next objective is. Am I able to like... Uh... Can I like... Paused. Okay. Um, I'm trying to say what the next objective is. Like, can it like tell me, please? Because surely, like, the gun would be for. Okay, can I can I open up this? I can't open up that. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What about the blue one, please? No. No, I put what? No. I'm so confused. It surely would be for this, right? I have a feeling that I might have broken the game, so uh, I'll be, I'll be. So if I come out in this corner again... Okay. So, um... That still happens, okay. But then again, I won't be able to get past him this time, will I? Because he disappeared last time. Will it happen again, or...? Actually, I can go under here, and, um, yeah, obviously that door's not gonna open up. So is he still there? He's gone. Will it still happen? Nope, it's all good. Okay. I guess we're back in business then? Oh, wait, our objective was to escape. Right, okay. Okay, so we're back here. It says about escaping. Does it mean escaping through the end? Um, I apparently can't even go this way. Bloody invisible doors! We're now back at over here. Am I supposed to go this? Wait, actually. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, now. Nah. Wait, actually, I can now go through. I can now go over here. Okay. Can I go through here? Can I? I mean, the game said escape. That's what I'm trying to do, escape. But it won't let me. I will say that I think the game kind of breaks at this point. Like, uh, I think it glitches. Because I'm not really sure what to do at this point. And... Okay, so we're just going back on ourselves. Unless, maybe this is the way to go. Because at this point, I am a little bit confused. Because I want to like play this to its full, but I won't be able to do that if it glitches out on me. Can I use a red? Can, can I can, can I find like a red key card and use that on the door? Can I use the door? I can't use the door. Right. Okay. So obviously he's dead through there. Hmm. I do think that the game is glitched at this point, which is unfortunate that I can't play it fully through. But I think that the creator of this game is still sort of learn the curves of uh, game dev and obviously um, you're gonna make a couple like duds here and there. I'm not saying that this is bad in any way shape or form but you are definitely gonna be making a few duds along the way and that, that's all just part of the learning process so yeah I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying that um, st uh, there may still need there may be steps still needed to uh, get like a really really nice product out there that's all i'm gonna say because like i know from experience that uh the games that i've made in the past have not been the greatest and i fully admit to um not knowing how to properly make a game and i f haven't fully mastered it just yet I probably never will but that's all I will say about this, really. And I don't want anybody saying that this is like a bad game because it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. It's just because it's dreams. It's very, very difficult to learn dreams. And trust me, I've tried learning dreams. I've tried learning how to make a game in dreams, and I quit after like five minutes <laughs> because it's 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 it, I mean, it's visual logic and stuff. And I have dealt with that stuff before, but I don't like the structure of it. I don't like how it's set up. I don't like the structure of it, so I never pursued it any uh, any further. But that's why I like Godot, because it's uh, scripted, more program-based, and you can sort of do whatever you want with it. That's why I like it. But uh, that's where I'm going to leave this video off here. I apologize to the creator who wanted to see me play this game through the entire game and you can obviously see that I very much tried and I think that even with the chase sequence you there is no way to have your character faster than the well than Ron there's no way to have your character faster than Ron and also opening up the door and also ducking below the sort of bookcases at the same time there's no way to do that the antagonist is always going to be faster so that's why i thought okay i'll just hide again and ron will just go on his merry way and disappear off to eternity and i'll just maybe carry on my merry way but it seems like that's that, that didn't work out but then again okay actually you know what you know what maybe I'm, I'm gonna try one more thing this has got to be something, right? It has to be. Like, why would there be a red light, red eye, whatever you like to call it? Why would there be something like that if your gun is not meant for it? Why would there be, huh? And it's like, would it be like right close to it? You're.
This game isn't bad. Isn't that game isn't bad? This game isn't bad! But why would you have the range super mega close to the door? Because obviously... Okay, I don't know how... Line cast or ray cast work in dreams, but... I will admit that was a little annoying, but we're here. We are here. <laughs> and after all of that I just said... <laughs> right, so what do we have now? <laughs> Okay, we've got another key card. Is that for this? Okay, okay. Oh, oh. oh right, okay, that, that makes sense now. Okay, you just stopping me just like that. Okay, fair enough. Um. Oh, my. Oh. I guess that makes sense now, all of that red stuff that we saw was to do with the eye. Okay. Oh! My name is the beard. Yeah, that's sick. Okay. Well, chapter 2 is already in preparation. If you guys would like me to play chapter 2 in the future, let me know and I might do it. But yeah, that was Runs and Friends. I do wonder how chapter 2 will go, uh, not, not necessarily in terms of like story and stuff like that because like, when it comes to these sort of indie games, I look for the gameplay and if the gameplay is like really really good and the presentation is like on point, then the story, I'll just pick up the story by myself, but if the gameplay and the presentation isn't quite there, then I will point those things out and sort of help developers along the way and then uh, maybe I'll pick up the story later on, I don't know, but anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody, hope you have all enjoyed and I shall see you guys next time, peace out everybody!